If you've been forgetful, tired all the time, and unable to think clearly every so often, you are not alone. Feeling as though you're always clouded thoughts or messing with your brain has become fairly common among many people during this pandemic. It's what has been dubbed as pandemic brain or brain fog. Why is this happening and how can you cope? While it's not a mental disorder, life coach and psychologist Dr. Ali Gui said the so-called pandemic brain is usually triggered by chronic stress and anxiety. During a pandemic, when people are getting sick with or dying of COVID-19, it's all too common for lockdown people to get overwhelmed by the thought that nothing is going on, but at the same time, so many things are happening outside of us. It makes it difficult to make sense of everything. This fogs one's thoughts because you are faced with something unfamiliar and have been pulled out of your normal environment. The experience varies from person to person too, Dr. Gooey said, noting that one should consider seeing a professional if it already hinders them from functioning normally. As the saying goes, it's okay not to be okay. But what is not okay is allowing yourself to stay that way. Hence, Dr. Gooey gave the following tips on how to cope with the pandemic brain. First, build a routine. Keeping a daily routine gives cues and actions that you need to take on a daily basis and can help with the forgetfulness aspect of the pandemic brain. When one has a routine, it can train the brain on what a normal day looks like, giving you a sense of purpose that you have something to accomplish. Second, take a break. Cut back on your screen time, sleep it off, take a walk, water your plants. Whatever it is that can help you relax can be taken as a form of break. The current times are abnormal, and it's happening now. It's not healthy to focus too much on becoming like your pre-pandemic self. Next, stay in touch with family and friends. Just because you're socially distant doesn't mean you can no longer stay in touch with them. Keeping a healthy communication line with loved ones can lessen the stress and anxiety of the pandemic. 4. Exercise and eat healthy Exercising is not just good for your body, it's also for your brain. If you're afraid to go out, just doing some indoor workouts can help improve mental agility. Eating healthy is also a must, so consider cutting back on sweets and junk food. Lastly, be patient with yourself. If you forget to do a core or feel like you failed yourself in something that you badly need to accomplish, don't punish yourself. With the pandemic messing with everyone's brains, the least that you can do is practice compassion, especially to yourself.